welcome back to another vlog on my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm just starting this vlog now at 10 to 4 because I've had quite a stressful day. I feel like I have spent my morning crying over my taxes <laughs> and I have done my hair. I've not put my hair extensions in. This is just like my natural hair. So I'm just seeing how like it holds if you will. Yeah, I thought I would do a little hairstyle. And yeah, so basically, for anybody who has never done them before, I have had to file for my first ever like self employment taxes alongside my working job, and they don't make it easy. If anybody's ever tried it, yeah, it's a really stressful process. However, I did find a YouTube tutorial and I just watched that and it was really helpful and I managed to stop crying and calm myself down. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would start this video off by saying hello, welcome. I am not doing much. I think I'm going to my friend Emily's and we're going to have some tea. I'll take my camera if she wants to film any bits we can do. If not, then we won't bother because obviously not everybody wants to be on camera. Don't mind me, I keep looking behind my camera because you're on my windowsill and like in my back window, in my bedroom window, it has like a really nice sunset all the time. And yeah, I, I like winter in this house just because of the sunset and like the sunrises and stuff, they're really, really good. But yeah, anyway, I have a new lip combination on and I'm not sure if I like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. It seems a bit more brighter on the camera, I don't know if it's because of the sun setting, but I have some new bits from Look Fantastic that I want to share with everybody and the first item, I picked up a new perfume, I feel like I'm running out of my perfumes, they're not like empty but they're getting to like halfway mark so I wanted to pick up another one and this is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess and it is the Eau de Parfum parfum is that how you say it yeah so there's two of these there's a more a more clear one and then there's this like bronzy one and i prefer this one i smelt them in the traffic center the other week just because i did not know that were the two different ones so everybody was raving about it and i'm thinking i've only i only smelt the lighter one the light shade of liquid and i didn't like it and i'm thinking why does everyone like this it's not even that nice then I saw the two next to each other and I was thinking, oh my god, there's two. So I smelt this one and this one smells really, really good. It's if you like a sweet scent, like sweet vanilla, yeah, it's just right up my street. It's a bit like the, I've got it, YSL Black Opium. And I really like that perfume. I have loved it for years. And yeah, I really like Black Opium. The next few bits that I did pick up are new lip bits, which is what I've got on today. And I have Diva Forever um, lip liner from Doll Beauty, and that's just like the colour of it. So you can see like the darker darkness of it. And I think, personally, I think I do prefer my Morphe Sweet Tea. I think I might try my Morphe Sweet Tea with this other lip combination though and then obviously I do still have this as well it is quite so when I've been doing some research because I was on TikTok trying to find a nice lip combo it obviously came up with Doll Beauty and obviously if anybody just goes on TikTok and looks at them they have quite a lot of like nude really light nude lip colours and I completely forgot about them like yeah, as you will have seen, I did run a new lip combo in my previous vlog from the other week when me and Luce went to the Trafford Centre and the woman gave me a completely different colour to what I wanted. It turned out to be the same colour as my um, lip liner. And yeah, so why don't I just discover these? This is a lipstick that I used. It is in the shade She's Nude Lipstick in FOMO and it is from Doll Beauty as well and it is a very very nude <laughs> and then we also have the lip gloss to match and that is in FOMO as well and that is just a lip combination that I have I'm going to keep testing it out and seeing how I like it so yeah that's just a lip combo I'll leave that there because I'll probably take it with me then the last thing like I don't know if I don't know if my roots are a bit more 
volumized. Let me know in the comments what you think from like previous videos. Um, but I did pick up the Colour Wow Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. So obviously I have quite thin hair I think. So my I have a lot of it but it's very thin. These bits really annoy me when they get mixed with everything because it just means that they drop quicker. That's why if you see me doing this in videos that's why I'm doing it. I've given the Raise the Root a go. Whether or not it has raise the root i don't know let me know in the comments if you think my hair is a bit a bit more volume volume dense you know but yeah i thought i would give this a go and i don't know i feel like i quite like it although is it just messy i'm trying not to brush because i don't have my extensions i'm trying not to brush my hair as much i've got into the habit of always brushing it because my hair extensions are in but yeah i can't i really want to grow my hair out it's got quite long at the moment and then I did get it cut so it went a bit shorter but it's a bit more blunt now and everything and then a little fringe and yeah what was I saying yeah so that was the last item that I picked up from Look Fantastic and yeah if you want to use my discount code because there are so many sales going on because it is obviously coming up to Black Friday then feel free I will leave all of the links and the discount code in the description I don't really know if Emily's reply, no she's not yet so I don't know if I'm going to her house yet. If not then I feel like I'm just going to go and get a McDonald's on my own or something or I might just order a Nando's takeout to pick up even though I will need diesel on the way. But yeah I need to go and have some paracetamol because I'm crying this morning. I need a paracetamol because I've got a headache. But yeah like, as you can see in this lighting it's very much like purpley. Which, I don't know, I feel like I'm more into a brown, personally. But yeah, I don't really have much else to do. I'm taking today off from doing content. I think I might need to film one reel tomorrow. And I've still not find, find, I've still not found the camera lens cover for this camera. So I have ordered another one on Amazon. And I've also ordered my walking pad, so you should see that in next week's vlog, because I'll probably be doing some walking at the weekend. I think I'm just going to wait for Emily, see what she says, and then, if nothing, I will just probably order a Nando's for one and sit downstairs, and then that means I've got ready for nothing. Um, I need my water because I'm thirsty. I've left it in my dressing room. I literally have... A raging headache and I can't cope. Right, so yeah, see like my bedroom lighting so much nicer when it's like evening time and it's still pretty early like it's not even four o'clock and the sun is like pretty much gone. So it make anybody else sad? Oh my god, that was what I was going to talk about. If you watched last week's vlog, you will have seen my new little intro and outro section. I actually made them myself and I'm really proud of it because I've not paid for like the app, app that I used and it's just like your basic, basic bits. However, I really quite liked it and I quite enjoyed the making it and like, I like the fact that I've done it myself and yeah it's just really simple and I didn't like that black one I was using so if anybody saw that one sorry I just it just wasn't me I'm more of a like a neutral beige kind of person as you can tell <laughs> I just like my neutral colours and my beiges and yeah I prefer the one that I've got now and then obviously because I am wearing my red dress on Scarlet Night on the ship in all of my profile pictures I've put a few little red hearts in there as well just to like tie it together and yeah, let me know if you like it, because I really think it's cute. I mean, even if you don't like it, I'm still going to use it, because it took me like an hour to do all that. And then I had to like change a few bits in it as well, so then that was obviously why the time added up. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention it, because obviously I was using that black one, and then I stopped using it and made a different one. <laughs> the black one was just a template. So I didn't actually do that one myself. I just put my pictures in and changed the text. But yeah, this one's actually one that I've kind of like figured out myself. 
by watching like TikTok clips and you know. But yeah, I will see what I get up to. I really want to go to B&M's, I can't lie. But like, it's time's cracking on, it's like no one's going. And it's just the same shite. But yeah, I hope everybody is having a lovely weekend or have had a lovely weekend because I have spent myself out of crying. I feel really emotional at the moment. I just feel lonely still too, like, I don't know, when you don't have many friends, it is like really hard because I've had so many shitty people um, and like, you just can't be bothered with people anymore because you just feel like they're all gonna act the same and do the same. So you just kind of like distance yourself from everyone. That's just me anyway, but yeah. I just feel like I'd rather go to the gym or stay at home at this point and then obviously I'm quite busy all the time anyway doing content but anywho I'm gonna put a bit of my new perfume on and then maybe go to Emily's and yeah we'll see a dog actually which is really nice because I miss out on my dog cuddles without having Oski so yeah oh my god the guy at the back's burning luckily the windows aren't open which I don't mind people burning but when your windows and stuff are open it just smells a bit doesn't it like it makes your house smell and your clothes and everything it is a really nice smell but not when it like sticks to you like that um but yeah let me know what you think of my hair because obviously I do get it bleached I think it's quite healthy to be honest and I think because I don't go often to get it done I'll go literally like once every half a year <laughs> um that's why I managed to keep it quite healthy and it doesn't like snap off everywhere and yeah the hair syrups have really helped actually bring some thickness and moisture into it and stuff like that Emily's replaying I think oh it's my mum um but yeah the hair syrups as well have helped quite a lot and I would recommend them for anybody who struggles with the hair and obviously it is going to depend on different textured hair but I find mine really 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 soft a bit too soft a lot of the time to do a lot with it so that's really annoying I wish it was thicker I wish it was a bit more dense and not soft and yeah I'll see you all later on good morning everybody so it is now Sunday and I was at Emily's until oh my god like 10 o'clock last night well I got back at like 20 past 10 Um, I just really tired today I think it's because I'm due on today but I just thought that I would oh I've just popped a bit of like bronzer and stuff on because I can't bothered I'm not going to do my hair I'm just going to leave it how it is because it's what it is I really want to go to B&M's because I feel like I need to pick up some like wrapping stuff for Christmas presents because I've started ordering some and they're probably going to come in soon quite a few of Lucy's are already here um and then I need to pick up like his last bits and then my mum and dad's and his mum and dad's but I just quickly wanted to show you the bits that I picked up on Amazon so for my laptop I've literally had the laptop for a few years now and I've never like cleaned the screen because I didn't really want to put a wet makeup wipe on it or whatever didn't really know what to clean it with and then I saw these on Amazon and it's literally one of these and you put a bit of water in or cleaning solution whatever you want to use I just put a little bit of tap water in them and you spray your screen and then as you can see that's how dirty my screen was you just wipe it with your screen and it cleans your computer screen and it's really handy like I feel like my screen has gone like proper clear now because I've never like used one <laughs> and yeah that is like the first bit then the next item that I got because I really really needed one of these more so because when I'm filming and stuff I can use it and if I'm taking pictures or anything and yeah Demi has one of these and when we was on the cruise oh, I think my Amazon parcel's here one moment right so my Amazon parcel came so I ordered some more bits that I needed I'm just gonna put my camera on here um so the first little thing that I got oh, oh my god I'm out of breath because I've not like eaten or drank yet today is just this little light so I've seen quite a lot of people using these but then the new camera that I want it doesn't have a flash 
and it has like a little slot placement where you can attach one of these little lights and have it on the top and it is really really bright like I don't move my camera do you know what I mean how bright is that and then obviously you can it has a little you can change the lighting put it up and down have it as bright as you want type of thing but I actually don't think you can oh right okay so that is the colour you can have it different colours and then at the other side you have your brightness so I could just have a little one or I could put it up and have it really bright so yeah that was literally like so cheap on Amazon um, I'll see how much it was I'll link them all in the description just in case any of you want one I think it was like 21 pound I literally have no idea how to use Amazon most of the time like I just don't know where the tabs are and I find it really confusing and my hair is just really annoying me I feel like just scraping it back to be honest because I just don't like it today it's not falling right right okay so it is so I paid 21.99 for that and then obviously you can take that little bottom bit off but I'm just going to leave it on because it is what it is and then I don't know what that's for I presume that's to screw it onto something as well maybe um, and then we'll open my Amazon parcel now because I've got some I don't know why the box is this big you're actually joking me this is what's in this big box really so anyway the first thing is a new lens cover for my camera this seems to be wrapped up so weird and I feel like this is tiny that's def or not a real one it's def or just a knockoff but because it's so loose but it'll do it'll probably cover my lens and I need it so I literally don't know where the other one's gone and it's really frustrating me because I just want that one back I hate when people put tape on boxes what is the actual point like why so I picked up a new tripod and I'm hoping this is a decent size and it's not like huge huge because the box seems bigger than what I expected so I picked up a new tripod just because I don't really like mine because one it is I've literally like lost quite a few of the attachments for it so when I do use mine it is um, I'm literally just balancing my camera on top of it because I just don't know where the camera attachment is so obviously here is the camera attachment for this one I mean I could still probably attach this one to that now This is meant to be like a travelling one, however it is quite heavy. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be this, this big if you will. Um, but these, is that as far as they open out? I am not sure, I don't need to move this. Aha, so you just move that and then it opens out to where you want it. And then you screw that in so it's stable. So then I can obviously have my attachment so it can be like this high and then it has these on here and like my other tripod oh my god this is gonna be huge what the hell oh my god that is huge that's literally like as tall as me watch look at the size of that like it's literally up to my window handle well higher than my window handles um so yeah that's that tripod that's really good and it seems quite sturdy as well but the little attachments I've got with it 
so I have one for my phone I mean it did well that moves doesn't it so you can have it sideways or twist that so it's I'd always have it like that anyway just because that is how I tend to use it and then this tripod was that bloody that was like eight quid and it's not even a bloody real one it's like a bloody fake one never mind so this tripod was only 18.99 it's actually it should be 19.99 but it's on sale I, can't, I think I paid 18.99 for it anyway and then we have the camera attachment aha so if you want to move your camera up and down like you just do that i think well it moves anyway on here do you know if you want to do like um does it move oh i don't know i'm not sure on that i'll have to figure it out like say if you wanted to do a down shot it's saying it's meant to move How the hell can you put that on my side? So all this attaches together. Oh my goodness me, this is so confusing. That does not make any sense. So it's saying this can move. Do I have to undo it quite a lot? Because it's not moving. Oh my goodness. Anyway. I'm going to try, like my camera would sit on it like that, yeah so the only thing is I can't really like, I don't think I can tilt it, but never mind, then you've got these adjustable things so you can move it like that, um, yeah that seems quite a steady tripod, oh, okay right you're on it now. Um, so yeah, that's only $18.99 on Amazon, so I'll link them all down below. But yeah, I'm literally just going to tidy my mess up again, as usual. Oh, also it comes with like um, a Bluetooth remote, basically just for your iPhone though, I think. For iOS and Android. But yeah, usually if I'm filming on my phone, I will just use my watch. Um, cause obviously that's Bluetooth and yeah. I just thought I'd show you the bits I picked up from Amazon because I quite enjoyed them. I think I'm really loving this light. Obviously it's a bit bright. It just gives like a bit of brightness. Or like say if I'm just filming Instagram stories and I needed some light bringing back in. Oh my goodness that scared the life out of me. Yeah sometimes I just want a bit of light and that's a really good one and my ring light isn't too good like it was just like a little cheap thing when I first started YouTube and I've just never bothered to get anything better so I could probably even use that when I'm filming to be honest because it gives off even more light where oh so it is rechargeable and it does come with the charger cable too actually and the charge cable is just in the box but yeah it's come already charged so I can just use it whenever I want but yeah, I just thought that was really good and obviously considering the new camera that I do want doesn't have a flash on it, then I can use that alongside it. And Jess and Demi both have the Sony camera that I want and they've just been like trying to help me decide on one because it was between the Sony or the G7X and when you watch comparison videos and stuff, the G7X is just like crap. I just want a smaller compatible camera. The G7X breaks a lot as well, which is what Demi said, like she could never get hers fixed and she'd always have, to, always have to buy a new one if she wanted, well, if hers broke. I'm pretty sure she like, said something like that anyway. She just said it was hard to find parts and stuff. And hers, I think hers broke and that's why she ended up getting the Sony. But a lot of people have changed over to it and it just seems really good quality. I already have a Sony now, so it's probably going to be like similar to what I already have and I could probably use the battery. I need to look into the what battery I've got in mind maybe I can like it's uh, maybe I can buy another battery too and yeah be okay and I've got several spare batteries <laughs> imagine and that'd be quite good wouldn't it because obviously it saves me money 
and yeah the only downside to these is when you're charging the battery you have to plug the camera in unless you buy the battery pack so i think i am going to buy a spare battery pack charger and a spare battery because there is one on the sony website i have already been looking because a usb travel charger and battery kit 54 pounds so expensive isn't it i don't understand how it works though to be honest i think you just put the ba battery pack in the rechargeable case and I think that's how it charges so you can charge it when it's out. There's only one review. Total month satisfied. Oh, it's a French review, so I can't even read that. But yeah, I think I am gonna order one of them, obviously, if Louise does get me the camera and we will see. Louise wants a camera from me, so we're definitely gonna look like right weirdos, aren't we? But I think we really wanna do like a city break or something. But I am honestly I just feel like I shouldn't be spending so much money because we have a lot like to pay for at the moment so maybe we won't do a city break but yeah I just because I'm getting like quite into doing my little YouTube videos now and stuff like that I kind of want to make more vlogs and stuff and yeah once I get rid of this fucking beast of a camera then I'll probably feel more comfortable in filming outside and stuff like that because I do struggle with this like quite a lot and it is I don't know it's just really awkward like it doesn't fit in my bags it doesn't fit in my pockets or anything like that because it's got the big camera attachment so I look like I'm a fucking wildlife expert or something taking pictures of the birds in the fucking field so yeah I'm really excited because it just means I can do better content really and I can film more when me and Lisa are out and I don't feel as awkward I guess so I'll have to give it a go and I think that's more so why like we want to go away so we can like try it with our new little toys because Lisa wants a camera he goes snowboarding in January and he wants the Insta360 I think it is and it looks like a pretty cool camera and I was like oh my god we can take it on holiday and like try and film like some cool clips on the beach or something and like include them in the little vlog or like we could do like a holiday vlog or like film a few days make a video and then film a few days to like have some off or whatever because I feel like we found like quite a cool resort but I'm not sure we could oh do you know what's really annoying like when you're going on holiday and you find the Facebook pages and that like, people enjoy putting bad reviews and I just think do you know what you literally are a morbid twat what is actually wrong with you to put such a bad review about something they must have really high expectations like i have high expectations for the holiday i did have them for turkey and it exceeded all my expectations because obviously we've never done an all-inclusive that were that good and i feel like this one's going to be really good too but anyway we'll see if it's not then i will cry of my money <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go and make my bed and tidy up and everything. So I might do a little quick pace, like tidy with me. And then I might nip to B&M's and get some of my wrapping stuff that I need. Because it turns out that I'm actually buying a few bits for people at the moment. Which I didn't expect to do because obviously I expected just to buy like a few little trinket bits. And like one big main present for everyone. But yeah... I ended up doing that I've bought Lewis quite a few bits already it's just like they're like little trinket bits basically and yeah right so I'll go make my bed sort myself out maybe have something to eat and yeah I'll speak to you all later on and I might show you what I get in B&M's <laughs> when there was a child this is mine <laughs> this has been here since my first Christmas 
and I need everybody to know if you see it in the background of my videos that is what it is and I cannot part with it it is battered and I know that when Demi and Jess watch this I'm gonna get a text off them immediately or a comment asking what the hell that is I literally used to take it everywhere with me like everywhere so yeah that's my teddy that I've had since my first Christmas before I was one and it's still alive and breathing everybody and I'm never gonna let it go and if its head detaches from its body my mum will stitch it all together I'll make her <laughs> right so I think I'm gonna have hold on I think I'm gonna have egg on toast because I literally have no almond milk and fruit for porridge because mum and dad are doing the food shop now do I have a green tea and a coffee on then. In fact, I'm going to have to do that in a minute actually. Let's pray that the bread is okay. Yeah, that bread's fine. Brown bread always lasts longer than white bread. I prefer brown bread anyway. Um, yeah, I prefer brown bread anyway just because I think white bread is really really soggy i don't mind it as toast if i have to have it however out of choice and um, please excuse the kitchen while well, i keep painting it and <laughs> changing it because um we've only lived here like a year and if you used to watch my old videos you will obviously recognize that we have moved house but the kitchen's like really old and it, for what my dad wants because he's very much into his kitchen and his cooking he wants a big massive kitchen well not a big massive kitchen he wants like this kitchen once I found. so yeah he wants like a big massive kitchen but like he wants the appliances moving so he wants like the oven and everything here he wants to keep the hob where it is but not have the oven under it anymore and he wants his like spice like drawers coming out and yeah he's a very pussy man and obviously we had the kitchen done years back at the old house i really miss that kitchen it was such a good kitchen and yeah they're just saving money to get it done how they want it right so i'm gonna put my eggs in i'm only having two because i can't bother having three i'm not even that hungry so I'm literally forcing myself to eat right now because I just can't be bothered eating at the moment. I think before before I'm due on, I eat everything and then by the time I actually get to the day where I'm meant to start it, I'm just not hungry. I mean, I literally only had that Chinese that me and Emily had last night. So yeah, I'm going to pop this in and I can put the kettle on so then it's not making too much noise. Right, I am having like so much trouble with butter at the moment. So obviously, well, I think we use margarine to be honest with you. I hate butter. I just find it too oily. But I'm finding that it's like not spreading. Am I just an absolute idiot? And then my eggs. I'll probably have to have my porridge later on. Don't know what's for tea. Seems like there's hard because usually I have like three eggs. It seems like there's hardly any eggs here. I'm, it's gonna take me forever to eat this, I know it is. Because I'm just in one of those moods and it's five to twelve. What does everybody have sauce-wise with the eggs? I literally have ketchup and brown sauce because I enjoy both and want a bit of both. Sometimes I'll even mix them. Is that weird? Call me weird. I really enjoy brown sauce. I think it's because it's like a bit different than sweet. But yeah, I'm going to go and finish my green tea and my coffee and then I'm going to go and sit and watch YouTube videos and then go to B&M's. I might ask my mum if she wants to come with me. Depends when they get back from food shopping, but yeah, I'm going to go and eat this. As you can see, my little concoction of 
brown sauce and red sauce. Right, so I just thought I would show you all the bits that I picked up from B&M's because me and my mum went and I picked up my Christmas wrapping and I picked up a little thing that I can put in my dressing room on my shelf. Um, I picked up these wrapping papers. They're just like, I think I've had these previously, like one year, like last year or something. And it's eight meter wrapping paper. I feel like it might be too much. However, B&M wrapping paper has gone really thin. I find anyway, it's gone really, really thin. And like, I just don't want it to be see-through if I'm wrapping something up. So maybe I might do like two layers. Um, but yeah, I just got two of them just in case I get more bits than a plan. Then I've got five of these bags. Um, there's some bits that I want to get my mum and dad from Oscar just for Christmas. I've got them a candle and I think I want to get them a little canvas of them and him. And then I can put it in one of these and then I've got two for mum and dad. Well, one for mum, one for my dad. And then I've got one for Lucy's mum and dad each as well. I'm not too sure what I'm going to buy them yet. And I also need one for his older brother. Then this is the little thing that I bought for my dressing room. So obviously, as you will have seen in my little, like, in my vlog the other week, I showed my bedroom and my dressing room. And I've obviously got little pumpkins in there from Halloween and like, for like autumn, winter. But I picked up this little Christmas tree just to replace one of the pumpkins. And then I'll put the pumpkins away for next year. But I just thought that was really cute and it's got like the the snow on it and yeah I think I feel like my mum picked up the wrong one here because the stem isn't very straight at the top. But yeah I can just have a play around with that and pull out some of the some of the branches and then that's a little Christmas decoration. I might nick some red baubles off my mum because she bought some before and put them on it was eight pound that and then the wrapping paper was 150 each i feel like that tree my mum said that was quite expensive she thought but i just thought well i'll still get it anyway then i really enjoy wrapping so i quite enjoy wrapping my christmas gifts and just making them look nice so i picked up the five pack of ribbons so these will go on like the more bigger Christmas presents, like the specialer ones. And it's got a stars one, a green one, just like um, a rope to style. up. So we've got a rope and then a ribbon, a rope ribbon, the green like paper ribbon, and then a stars, stars one. And then I also picked up this set with some bows and more of the ribbon on top just in case I do run out which I probably will I probably should have picked up two of these actually but that was 250 and that was four pound which is quite expensive they're saying they're three meters each is that a lot how much is this one? Oh, so they're f eight meters so they might, I might be okay you know so I don't think I'm going to be buying much for everybody and then the last bits I picked up were the tags and they were one pound. I did used to get like, do you know like when, well they're literally Christmas tree tags that I used to get and I used to like put them on and decorate them nice but it was just getting so expensive every year to do that so I've picked up these for the name tags so I can put the name tags on in case I don't put them in bags. Um, but yeah, that's just everything that I picked up from B&M's for my Christmas wrapping. And yeah, this, I'm pretty sure I've had this before, like I really recognise it. But yeah, obviously with them all together, I feel like they're a nice little coloured match. I feel like I should have got the red velvet one as well because there's red in this. Unless I go back and get some more, but we will see. Pretty much, it was selling out in B&M's. Me and mum went in, and obviously Halloween's over now, and bonfire night and everything. So we went in, and it was about half three-ish, and it was really busy, and like all the Christmas stuff selling out. And I was like, mm, everybody's going in buying for Christmas. So yeah, 
that's just everything that I did pick up from b and I did also get some more caramel lattes because they're the ones that I have like for my coffees in the morning but yeah that is everything for this little vlog I apologize for it being a bit like hit and miss like I didn't I just literally went and saw Emily so we had a Chinese for tea last night and I saw a little dog uh, Nelly and she was really cute oh my god she's the little cutest little puppy ever she's got um a working springer so Oscar used to be a working cocker and like she's literally so like Oscar when he was a puppy and I was like oh I really want another dog so bad but yeah my mum and dad are enjoying the freedom at the moment just because they don't have to watch him and rush home for him and everything like that so yeah that's everything I picked up from B&M's next weekend I'm not too sure what we're doing I don't think I've got anything planned I do know that I do need to get content and stuff like that and yeah that's just everything for this weekly vlog well weekend vlog next weekend I might start it earlier because we have an event coming up so I might start it then or I might just include some like, little clips from it maybe so I'll see what I fancy doing come next weekend well yeah come next weekend basically I hope you all enjoyed watching this one I know it was quite a boring one and literally just a haul <laughs> um but yeah that tripod is really good like I'm impressed with that I expected it to be like proper flimsy and not that like, good but no it's actually really good and I figured out how you move how you move it it just like I think it has to be on the thing couldn't figure it out before but if it's on the thing you can tilt it down and like say if I wanted to like film some clips for me doing something like making my dinner or you know I think let me know in the comments as well actually if you would like me to do like a what I eat in a weekend and if you would like to see me like document my cut and yeah if you want me to do some like what I eat in a weekend well it's what I eat in a day however I will only do it on a weekend because that's when I film like my content because otherwise I work during the week it's a bit harder maybe I could do it like during the week on like a Tuesday and a Wednesday as well but most likely not because I feel like I just do them on a Saturday and a Sunday let me know if that's something you do what I see actually because maybe I could do it on a Tuesday and a Wednesday because then it is more realistic to what I eat every day whereas on a weekend you're seeing me and Lewis or me and a, me and a friend going out for food and my relaxed meal, relaxed meal, cheat meal, whatever you want to call it is always on a Saturday usually, Friday or a Saturday but I'm, I'm being a bit more lenient at the moment with it until the 1st of December and then that is when my hair's really annoying thing that is when I start my cut so I'm really excited my walking pad should come this week so I can show you it all in next weekend's vlog because no doubt I'll end up bloody walking on it I'm just hoping that it's okay because I've seen some reviews where like the the belt like moves and yeah I can't be doing with it but I, I think it's just gonna happen isn't it I feel like on a proper treadmill it probably still happens so yeah, I've not really, like other people that I've spoken to with the same one, they've not really noticed anything with it. So yeah, I'm excited for that. I've not even had a dispatch email for it yet, which is pretty worrying because they said it's meant to come Wednesday or Thursday. I hope it comes Wednesday because I'm at Maddie's for my lashes. I don't really need them doing, but since I do have the event on Thursday, I just wanted them doing ready for that just they're a bit fresh I feel like I might lose some during the week and yeah I'll just see how they last basically um so yeah I'm at Maddie's on Wednesday I think I'm going to try and go to the gym as well actually beforehand and then Thursday we're at the event so I obviously will be missing the gym I'll show you all my outfit on Thursday as well and what I'm wearing I'm not too sure what to wear and how to have my hair I feel like I really want to crimp it I might I might crimp it and then next weekend I've just got a few bits to film and catch up with myself and yeah I think I'm going to film a video on how I do my crimped little bun that I used to do quite often a lot of people have asked for that and I haven't worn my hair like that in a while actually so I think I might do that next weekend and then yeah as far as I'm aware that's all I have planned I really want to go to Christmas markets I keep seeing loads of TikToks on the food and I'm like oh, I am so jealous um, but yeah that is everything for this weekend's vlog I hope you all enjoyed and again sorry it was a bit of a 
just a haul. <laughs> Um, but sometimes weekends I do nothing and yeah today I just could not be bothered putting makeup on and doing anything and I've just sat watching YouTube videos. I feel like I shouldn't have done that and saved them for tonight. I mean I will have some to catch up on tonight anyway so it's fine. But yeah I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you all again in another video. <laughs>